Hi guys, welcome back and hello if you are new. I hope that all of you had a fantastic Easter weekend. I know that I did as I was finally able to get out and enjoy the outside world after having COVID. But we are not here to talk about me being ill. Instead, we are here to talk about the just as sickening new album by Undeath, which is It's Time to Rise from the Grave. <laughs> So building on the rotten foundations of what we saw on Legions of a Different Kind, Undeath really have succeeded in creating that sophomore album that has to live up to the hype of the first. The songs are nice and compact, they always say their piece, but don't necessarily overstay their welcome. I like the fact that much of this album is very frenetic and very kind of like really in your face, which is the nature of death metal. But then you've got sections on Necrobionics, for example, where space is really important. And the band understand that when it comes to songwriting. So when it comes to choruses, I think that really is Undeath's kind of secret weapon um, and has been since Lesions. And it's mainly due to, I think, Alex Jones's enunciation. But I think there's three main factors. The first being simple lyrics. So like Bone Raw is a great example of that. The second being repetition. So rise from the grave. We have that rise being repeated. And the third is that they follow the guitar rhythms. And that kind of, I think, ingrains itself even more in your psyche. And you don't necessarily realise it. But by the end of that song... You've already got the chorus. And you can just tell that these lads just love death metal. And there are nice little nods to the past as well. Like Rise From The Grave has that lightning crack that reminded me of um, Find The Arise by Obituary. And then there's a sort of anvil sample on Bone Rot. And, you know, the lyrical subject matter is zombies, people eating each other, someone being made into a human chandelier, you know. <laughs> you can tell that there's that sense of kind of macabre storytelling that has always been at the sort of heart of death metal. And I... And the production of this record, whilst also being quite new, also kind of, you know, pays homage to the past as well. It reminded me of the sort of Scott Burns era, you know, kind of really early Cannibal Corpse, like eating back to life, that sort of thing. But of course, at its crux, Undeath are incredibly heavy. And you've got the opening section of that battering ram riff on uh, Defiled Again. But then there's also Head Splattered in Seven Ways. And the ending, or sort of that bridge of Human Chandelier, just is absolutely crushing in its weight. So they've definitely not sacrificed any of the heaviness on display here. I also like the fact that there's kind of a bit more of an influence of heavy metal on display here. You know, it's kind of in the the backing um, riff of Rise From The Grave when the solo's in there. It's got that sort of like Iron Maiden style triplets. But then there's also, I think, really kind of heavy metal tones that are on um, Human Chandelier that definitely lend to that kind of memorability coming in. And of course, that leads me to the solos. The solos sound as Agtothian. You know, they've got that sort of like dive bomb, frenzied attack. You know, it's, it's like like a zombie, <laughs> essentially. Um, I really, really like that. And I like the fact that there's a lot of use of diminished scales. It's quite interesting. You know, like it's often quite a simple riff, but it will be moved, you know, sort of like up a semitone, up a whole tone, down a semitone, all that sort of stuff. So. Again, it lends to that sort of sense of memorability. 
And the album is nice and short. It's 36 minutes. It's often not even long enough for me to get to work to. So it doesn't overstay its welcome. And I think, again, that lends itself to that replayability that it's not kind of like too much of a sort of big ask of the listener. And you can kind of just quickly tune into it, jam a couple of songs, and then that's it. The album's already gone. It's Time to Rise from the Grave improves on what we saw on lesions of a different kind. And given the fact there are nods to the past, still sounds very fresh and vital and is pushing Undeath forward, I think really to become one of the lead major players in death metal in 2022. So I hope you enjoyed this album review. I'd love to hear what you think of the album and the video. I've also got an interview with Alex and Kyle from Undeath, which you can check out. I'll leave the link actually underneath me. Um, let me know what you think of that as well. And otherwise, I will see you next week for Watain's new album, which is The Agony and the Ecstasy of Watain. Absolutely brilliant record. Anyway, take care, my friends, and I will see you very, very soon. Yes, I...